I am Gregory, and this is Pensane. On the table, we have the ink and pen combinations from the first week of my self-imposed 31 pens, 31 inks, 31 days to start off the new year of 2023. So let me tell you, I am loving this. I am absolutely loving this. It's been so fun so far. We're a week in. I don't know. This might be a year round thing. <laughs> I, so much fun. And so this is my Hobonichi Weeks Mega, which has a lot of note paper in the back of it. It's a, a weekly planner and the Mega has a lot of note paper in the back with this, this grid pattern. I'm like, what am I going to use it for? And I had this idea. So in my Hobonichi Techo, that's where I do the initial writings with each pen and ink. And I decided then I could sort of collect it here uh, to go over and, and even, you know, uh, grade the combinations and, and decide which is the best of the week and ultimately which is the best of the month. So that's going to be fun. All right. So without further ado, uh, we started it off with a bang. The Asveen V169 with Dymine Blue Black Ink. And let me tell you, this pen was a Christmas gift from my wife. And I am shocked at how good it is. It's very, very good. It's a very heavy pen, but if that's not an issue for you, or if you prefer heavy pens, this would be perfect. Um, the pattern, there's, there's, you can feel the pattern when you're holding the pen, but you get used to it. It doesn't hurt or anything. It's not uncomfortable but you're aware of of that that pattern there cut in the the metal so the next one the conklin duraflex with montegrappa slytherin from the harry potter series of inks another another great one i love that ink and if i'm not mistaken those were limited edition inks and they're no longer available is that right um if you know otherwise, uh, please comment down below because I would totally buy that ink. I love it. Um, it shades from a deep, cool green to almost black. And then I believe you, you can't really pick it up and I'm not going to fiddle with my setup here. Uh, but there, I believe there's some, some red reddish sheen yeah so love that combination next up is the cross dubai with cross black just a cross black uh, cartridge that came with the pen next up we have the diplomat optimist rings with colorverse brain i believe that's how you pronounce it <laughs> uh the pen actually came in a subscription box from Chufei. I believe it was their Penthusiast level. And it ended up being one of the best pens in my collection. Spoiler alert. <laughs> and I will say and give a huge shout out. Um, the ink came from a recommendation from a viewer, Wendy L. Thank you so much for recommending this ink. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Thank you, Wendy. All right. And then next we have the Duke Charlie Chaplin, another gift from my wife from Christmas. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, unique pen that again, shocked me, absolutely shocked me. And it has a food a nib, <laughs> which is a learning curve, but uh, I have it loaded with diamine graphite 
And it's actually a lovely combo, I must say. But that's a heavy, heavy pen. But absolutely gorgeous. I will be doing a review on that pen at some point. Then we have what I believe is the second fountain pen in my collection. Which is the Fountain Pen Revolution Jaipur version 1. And that is loaded with Lamy Bronze. And last up, we have one of my mini Jinhao X750s. This is the Rose Gold. And this is loaded with my second favorite ink in the world, for now. <laughs> uh, J.R. Bon Laibete. And again, another spoiler alert. <laughs> because next up, we are going to do the ratings real quick. And then the, the rankings. So, I shall reveal those. So the Esveen V169, I gave the pen a 9. And the Diamine Blue Black, I gave an 8. The Conklin Duraflex, I gave an 8. Montegrappa Slytherin, a 9. Cross Dubai, I gave 8. And the Cross Black, a 5. Diplomat Optimus Rings, a 10, as you may have suspected. Colorverse Brain, a 10. I don't know if you can pick up that, that uh, shimmer, but, and you can clearly see the shading. It's an amazing, amazing ink. Not without its issues of, you know, occasionally clogging the pen, but... <laughs> Oh, so 10 and 10. Then we have the Duke Charlie Chaplin. The pen is a 10, mostly for the design. And you just have the feeling of a really expensive pen. It, it shocked me, actually. It shocked me. And that is loaded with Diamine Graphite, which is a 7. It's a very good ink. I don't think it looks anything like graphite. Uh, graphite, I think pencil. It doesn't look like pencil to me. Um, oh, this was a heartbreaker. So, the Fountain Pen Revolution Jaipur version 1. I had some issues. There was some leaking. Um, and it, it skips a lot, especially on horizontal strokes from left to right. It skips a lot, so it's it's kind of frustrating using it. But when you get it to work, it has the best flex nib I've ever used when it works. <laughs> so, and uh, so that that was a six for the pen, and then Lamy Bronze a six. Um, it it's very 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 slow to dry. And it, it's not exceptional from other inks I have in my collection. And why is that bronze? That is not bronze to me. <laughs> that is not bronze. That's orange. <laughs> That's red-leaning orange. But anyway, we'll forgive Lamy for that. It's still a beautiful ink. And last but not least, the Jinhao X750 gets a 7. Yeah. You know, for what it is, it's a great pen. I would say they're a fantastic starter pen. And, you know, they're cheap. But at the same time, once you start using other pens, you're going to, you know, it's going to start looking cheap to you. And But you know what? They're actually pretty consistent in my experience. So, And this ink, again, is my number two ink. So that gives a 10. J.R. Bon, Light the Tay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just such a rich brown with just a little bit of shading. So it pops up in a few places there. So how do we rank these? So I, I added up the scores. But you see we have a four-way tie between the Asveen, the Conklin, the Duke, and the Jinhao. So, 
how do you make a tiebreaker or how do you rank them beyond that? Well, I gave the greater weight to the pen scores. So the 17s are ranked by the pen score. Uh, you see, uh, let's see, we have one at seven, one at 10, one at eight, and one at nine. So that kind of worked out. So these are the results of week one of the 31 pens, 31 inks, 31 days. In seventh place is the Fountain Pen Revolution Jaipur V1 with Lamy Bronze. In sixth place, we have the Cross Dubai with Cross Black. I think if I get a better ink in there, a more exciting ink in there, it it would be rated much higher. Uh, number five, we have the Jinhao X750 with J.R. Bon Lai the Te. Number four, we have the Conklin Durflex with Montegrappa Slytherin. Number three, we have the Esveen V169 Diamine Blue Black. Number two, the Duke Charlie Chaplin with Diamine Graphite. And number one, oh my goodness, look at that. The Diplomat Optimist Rings with Colorverse Brain. Thanks again, Wendy L., so much for your recommendation. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, I'm I'm very excited to be doing this this month. And again, I I don't know. It might continue. Uh, not as far as the videos. <laughs> the videos end up being a lot of work. If you want to see the individual days, you can see that in my YouTube shorts. That's where those are located. And there's a video for each day. So, you know, I probably wouldn't do that beyond January. But this process of using a pen and ink combo, uh, one per day uh, of the month. Yeah, it bears repetition. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.